They weren't trying to trick me, but I just didn't see it. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gwen and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a favorites video. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at so naturally Gwen. Also be sure to look in the description box for my natural hair coaching program as well as my natural hair store. All right, let's get started. So the first product I wanna talk about is the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. You guys, I have fallen in love with this product. I've talked about it a little bit, but I've been using it a lot more than I have recently. And I've noticed that I can use it in like different ways, basically. What I've been doing recently is putting this like towards the roots of my hair. Um, I, when I do a slick back style, I've just been putting this all over my hair. Like I've just been really using this a lot. So this has been really helpful for me. So this is a like slimy gel. It's not exactly like, you know, a traditional gel. Like if you can see like, it's pretty like mucusy looking. It is moisturizing and it does have protein in it as well. So some moisturizing ingredients that it has are aloe, marshmallow extract, agave, and agave nectar. And then the protein ingredient that it has in it is nettle leaf extract. So the fact that it has protein and moisture in it is good because it, I don't know, I find that sometimes when I have really moisturizing gels, that don't have any protein in them. I feel like over time, like it sits on my hair and it over moisturizes my hair. So I've really been liking using this and I'm already starting to kind of think that there's a theme to the types of products that I need to use on my hair based off of the next product I'm gonna tell you about. But I think for high porosity hair especially, I'm liking to use products that have small amounts of protein in them. So rather than having, you know, like big proteins, like you know, um, wheat protein and like vegetable protein and, you know, um, like Che Bay powder. Like I'm, I wouldn't use anything like that on my hair day to day, but things that have like, you know, amino acids, maybe some biotin, you know, the nettle leaf, like just like little bits of protein, maybe in like the bottom of the ingredients list or just amongst a lot of moisturizing ingredients, I'm a little more open to. So put a pin in that. I'll tell you guys, you know, in the future, if that is something that I can, you know, stand by, but I've really been liking this. The next product I'm going to talk about is the Curl Theory Multi-Style Cream. So as you guys know, this is like my favorite hair cream. I like to layer my moisturizing products. So I will use a leave-in conditioner and then some type of hair cream. And this is usually my go-to. So I really like this product, y'all. I don't know, like they weren't trying to trick me but I just didn't see it. So I, I always thought that this was a nothing product, like no protein, no moisture, like, you know, like nothing too crazy, like a good, like in the middle product. Y'all, this has biotin in it. Not my whole life's a lie, but just like, I was really out here being like, oh yeah, no, there's no protein in this, Girl, there is protein in this. So that's a good thing. Because, because, like I mentioned, especially with like the Curly Magic, like I really like how this reacts to my hair because it has a little bit of moisture, but a little bit of protein to where my hair doesn't get too over moisturized and too over frizzy. Because you, it's really hard to find this product, first of all. I do have more. I found a website that sell that sells it well they don't sell it anymore and i bought two i'm really happy i did this because now it, the website's called hatash beauty hatash.com that website had it and so i was like okay cool it's sold out now so i'm like freaking out but it's okay because the fact that it has a little bit of protein in it i think i might be able to find something that can replace it you know what i mean so I'm doing some more searching right now. I have a couple of hair creams that I'm going to be trying to see if the effects are comparable to what the Curl Theory cream does for me and see what happens. Cause I was using the Sultanicals, can't believe it's not butter. Now this definitely does not have any protein in it. 
but I was noticing that the curl theory one gives my hair a little bit more smoothness. And if you're familiar with, you know, protein, protein helps to smooth down your hair cuticle, which can make your hair look smoother, especially if you have high porosity hair and your hair tends to be frizzy. I find that this does not smooth down my hair at all and it makes my hair a little bit frizzy. So maybe that's why it's so creamy and like, you know, like smoothing because of the biotin. So I'm hoping that that was kind of like the silver lining to the situation and kind of like, you know, the little bit of like the loophole because I don't know if I'm going to be able to find this product in the future. So I have two right now. If anyone knows where you can buy more, please tell me, please tell me. <laughs> okay, the next product that I have is the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. So I've really been liking this. I tried to stray away and was trying to use different leave-in conditioners, but as soon as I came back to this, I realized why this is my favorite. I just like the thickness of it and I like how like lightweight still it is, but it like has a lot of moisture and it's really like, I don't know. I just feel like it has a really good mixture of like, you know, not being too heavy, but doing the job. You know what I mean? So I like the consistency of it and it really helps to define my curl pattern. Like it really just smooths it down and makes my hair look really nice. So that's what I've been liking. This does have moisture only, no protein in it. I know for sure. So yes, glycerin and honey in it. So I really like this product and I will keep repurchasing it. Okay, next one that I have is the TGIN Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo with Amla Oil and Coconut Oil. So I've really been liking this shampoo recently. As you guys know, I've been using the um, Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse, but I wanted to, you know, branch out. Like I'm in 2023, I'm trying to try at least like every single product in my collection once just to kind of see if I want to, you know, keep it or whatever. And so this was one of the products that I wanted to try. This is protein free. So it's all moisture. Um, and I really like the, the, um, the consistency of it. At first, um, I posted a review video kind of on my Instagram and I talked about how I didn't like the consistency of this. It's really lightweight, but I actually kind of like that. At first I thought I didn't like it, but I actually kind of like it. It's very light and, um, thin, but it suds up really nicely. It doesn't have any sulfates in it. It has, um, C14, 16, oleum sulfonate, which is my favorite hair cleanser personally. And it has a lot of other good ingredients in it, like it has sugar cane in it. It has maple in it. it. Those are the only moisturizing ingredients in it, but it has like a lot of vitamins in it, a lot of different extracts. So a lot of good ingredients in this. So I really like how this feels on my hair. Like I said, it's really um, smoothing and really like thin and lightweight. It smells really good. It smells like fruit. So it's a nice experience and it has really good quality ingredients. So I like this. This is black owned as well. And yes, I really like this. Next product I'm going to talk about is this. I've been talking about this on my channel like crazy recently. <laughs> this is the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Curl Refreshing Spray. I really like this just for, you know, throughout the week. If I want to re-moisturize my hair, my scalp, my edges, whatever, this is really nice. Also, it's nice when my hair is out because it dries out really quickly and sometimes I want to add more moisture to my hair, but I don't want to, um, you know, wet my hair necessarily. So this helps to add moisture. This is a little bit sticky, so it does leave a little bit of a residue if you use it too often. So I don't use it like all of the time. Um, yeah, like I prefer it more for like my roots rather than my edges because it can leave a bit of a residue. So that's something I would keep in mind. If you don't like a lot of like sticky residue, I might not recommend this, but it is good if like on your ends, you want to add a little bit of something, but you don't want to manipulate your hair too much. So I like this and it's anti-frizz as well. Okay, next product is something that came in pretty recently. So yeah, I've really been liking this. This is the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil, infused with biotin and encourages growth. So yes, I've been liking this a lot. The hype is kind of real. Like I was kind of skeptical at first too. I was like, oh my gosh, this oil, like people just get, you know, hooked onto one thing and then it's like a, you know, everyone's obsessed with it. But no, this, this is a really nice oil. I don't know if I use it the same way that everyone else uses it. Um, I like it because it has glycerin in it, but it has biotin in it. So automatically it is protein moisture balanced. It smooths down my hair, like the biotin again, this has biotin in it. This has biotin. Maybe that's just like my 
protein. I don't know, biotin is a medium sized protein. So it's a good like in between protein to use because of the glycerin it's nice and you know balanced but i will use this usually on like my edges just because um it adds a little bit of moisture without having to spray it because like i said this adds too much of a residue to my edges so i don't really like to put that like on my forehead so i'll just kind of like dip a little bit maybe like on the back of my nape the nape of my neck i really like this also i blew out my hair recently and when i blow out my hair I think I just need to go to a professional because I don't really know what I'm doing, I guess. This really helped with my ends. Like my ends will get so dry when I blow out my hair. Like I don't know what it is, but this has really helped when I have my hair in blowout styles. I think it saved me a lot of length because my ends weren't super dry and crispy where they needed to be, you know, trimmed off because they were splitting and breaking you know what I mean so I really been liking it for that and just applying it onto my hair I really did notice a difference so if you have an oil that's too light like this is a lightweight oil but it's a, like a little bit heavier so if you want something that's going to coat your hair but not be super heavy like a castor oil or a Jamaican black castor oil I recommend this just because it's somewhere in the middle if I'm not mistaken I follow someone on Instagram, I can't remember her name, um, but she said that there is another oil from Camille Rose that is similar to this. I haven't tried that one, but I'm intrigued. I'm gonna look into it. So I can't say anything about that. But what, I'm, what I will say is that there are store-bought oils that might be worth something. So I'm broadening my horizons as far as that's concerned, because I always thought an oil is an oil, but sometimes they can be different. So that is one that I have tried and I do recommend. Next. Is like a two-part thing like <laughs> i've been enjoying these two wet line extreme gels i have been experimenting with these and loving these i'm currently wearing the green top one so i have curly magic all over my hair and then i kind of like put this on top of it the green one has more hold the blue one isn't as thick and is more smoothing than this one but this one does not last with this one, within like two days, my hair is frizzy again and like my edges are like raising up and like my hair doesn't look as slick. This one, on the other hand, I've only used this like once or twice. I stopped using this because I felt like it kind of dried out my hair. If your hair is not moisturized, this can dry it out. So this is a good like topper product. I was able to go to hot yoga in this. So that's all I will say. Your hair doesn't move. Like I installed this hairstyle two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. And my hair is still smooth. Like there are no real flyaways. Like the nape of my neck is starting to soften up a little bit, but it's nothing crazy. Like my hair is still nice and smooth and like, you know, staying in place. And as long as you have the moisturizing ingredients underneath this gel, I think you'll be fine. But yeah. I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards the green one right now just because the blue one, it doesn't last as long. So yeah, but I do like both of them and I think they are really good products to use because they're super inexpensive. They're both protein free so you don't have to worry about your hair being too dry or um, getting too overloaded with protein. Next is this. This is the Miel Pomegranate and Honey Curl Defining Mousse with Hold. So this is a product that I used in a YouTube shorts on here. I used it for a wash and go and I didn't love the results like they were okay but I felt like my hair got a little too overloaded with moisture. I don't really think I know what I'm doing when it comes to mousse but I used this recently for um, individual twists that I did on my personal hair and you know at the end they usually use a mousse so I used this on my hair and it made my hair super smooth like my roots like kind of laid down almost and I really liked how my hair felt like my hair felt so smooth and moisturized. So yeah, I recommend this for that. Um, it didn't really flake. So yeah, like it turned out really, really well. So I would use this again um, and I will continue to use this. Um, I have a lot of it left. I think a little goes a long way. But yeah, this is something that I used once recently and I wanted to give a shout out because it really came through for me for that particular hairstyle. Next favorite that I have is a product that kind of came in and shook me. So this is the Melanin Hair Care Plumping Deep Conditioner with Hyaluronic Acid, Biotin, Fenugreek, Pumpkin, and Bamboo. Girl, 
This product is amazing. Oh my gosh, the deep conditioner is so good. I feel like I felt the effects of the deep conditioner like a week later, you know, like, you know, like when you do a treatment on your hair and you feel the effects for a long time, I kind of felt that like my hair was just so bouncy. I did a first impressions on my Instagram. I loved the effects of this. It smells so good. The texture is so nice. It's like whipped and creamy. You can't see, but nice and thick coats your hair really well like it melts into your hair and it really just kind of you know makes your curl pattern really nice and defined and add that you know bounce factor and that strength to it but also adds the moisture and i felt like again like i said i felt the effects i think like longer than the product was in my hair if that makes sense i said all that to say i feel like sometimes it's worth it to invest in your hair because you just never know so i have been experimenting with like higher end deep conditioners, not buying a bunch, but you know, one of them. So I got the Bread Beauty Supply Mask and then I have this one. And then after I use this one up, I wanna try the Ajua Beauty ones and I might try the Curl Smith ones, maybe Briogeo. Like those are some of the brands that I've been kind of looking at. Okay, the next product that I have is this. This is the Shea Moisture Jacob, what? Not Jacob. Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. <laughs> strengthen and restore conditioner with shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar so i rarely talk about shea moisture products and there's kind of a reason for that like their products just don't work for my hair but this is a product that i have been using for a little while now this is a really good product to help when my hair is in between protein treatments so right now i'm alternating basically protein and moisture when my hair has gone through that moisture week and it's time for the protein I feel like my hair is left in a kind of vulnerable state. Like, you know, when your hair is fully moisture and is waiting for that protein, I feel like your hair is at its like weakest state, if that makes sense. So while I'm washing my hair and preparing it for the protein deep conditioner, my hair can kind of feel weak. And I feel like this is good to add to my hair while I am trying to detangle it before using a protein deep conditioner. This helps to like smooth down the cuticle really quickly and help with detangling. So this has just kind of come in handy when my hair is in that moisture state, but I need a little bit of protein to kind of counteract the effects of having a lot of pro of having a lot of moisture in my hair. And then the last product I'm going to talk about is this. This is the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curl Quenching Moist Deep Moisture Mask. Sorry. This is a brand new one. I just purchased this, you guys. I love this mask. I don't know if I talked about how much I love it, but this is a protein-free deep conditioner that I love. So I was trying to branch out and use different deep conditioners, not always, you know, stick with the same ones. And then I came back to using it once and oh my gosh, I just fell in love with this mask again. I have such sad news. It is not sold on Target anymore. I had to buy it from walmart.com. I spent more than I wanted to. I think I spent like $17, but at Target, it was like $11. So a little bit more. I just, I'm just sick and tired of having all these products that I love and then you can't find them anywhere. So it's a sad day because I love this mask, but if I could find it on walmart.com, like so be it. All right, you guys, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing some of my current favorite products. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at SoNaturallyGwen. Also, be sure to check out my description box for my natural hair coaching program, as well as my natural hair store. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.